Hey guys, what's up? It's Brendan from Heartbreaker Guitars and we are in the Heartbreaker Lounge at the back of the store where we do all our recording and have I got a treat for you guys today. Today we're all about the Rick Turner Model 1 guitar. Today we're going to be discussing all the specs, we're going to go over pricing, we're going to go over the electronics configurations, and we're going to demo all the guitars for you so you can check them all out and see the differences between all the different guitars. And then at the very end I got a special treat for you guys. So, let's jump right in, the Model 1 guitar. Okay, first off I want to give you a little history on the Model 1 guitar. The Model 1 guitar was conceived by Rick Turner and Lindsey Buckingham in collaboration with Fleetwood Mac where they wanted to build a guitar, Lindsey wanted to build a guitar that had the sustain and the warmth of a Les Paul, he was using a custom Les Paul at the time in the 70s, and the clarity of a Strat, and the acoustic properties of an ovation. So those were the three guitars Lindsay was using at the time and he wanted kind of one guitar that could do it all. So Rick at the time was building some pickups for John McVie at the time in 1978 and by the time he got with Lindsay it was early 1979 and they had the discussions about the guitar and so Rick went back and he built it and uh, what he came up with was the Model 1. So the story goes, he finishes the guitar in Hollywood, Fleetwood Mac was doing a recording session and Rick brought the guitar, he set it on the stage. Uh, Lindsay was the first band member to show up. Lindsay picked it up, started playing it. And legend has it, he played the guitar for almost three hours. Put the guitar down, shouted out to his guitar tech that was out in the stands, Ray Lindsay, and said, put the ovation, the Strat, and Les Paul, leave it here, I'm not gonna need anything else. So, pretty cool story. Anyway, so, Lindsay went on to record and tour with that guitar for almost 30 years, the same guitar. So anyway, there's been some modifications over the years, but essentially the, the basic concept of the guitar really hasn't changed. Uh, it's a mahogany body, same shape. The shape just, he, he changed a couple contours on it in the 80s, but I mean, it's pretty much the same shape, same electronics, same everything. So it's a guitar unlike some other brands um, that it just really hasn't changed that much. So at this point, I want to jump right in and talk to you about the different guitars. So let's start with the most basic. This is the Model 1. It's basically just a stripped down basic Model 1, okay? It's got a tone, excuse me, a volume and a tone with a coil tap. This is an active Rick Turner hum canceling pickup. Rick makes these right in his shop in Santa Cruz. We've got a mahogany body. This one's got black binding on the front only. Mahogany back. This is a sandwich style construction. So it's cut in half and glued together. It's chambered for the electronics, in this case for the pickup. And right here you can adjust the height of the pickup. You've got a one piece maple neck, shallower tuners, rosewood fingerboard, and we've got a black head facing. Okay, so this guitar, ah, it's around 3,500, 4,000 ballpark right around there. Okay, so why is this one so much less expensive than the others? Well, basically he took all the expensive cosmetic stuff and he removed it, okay? So you don't have black binding on the back. You do not have a five piece laminate neck. It's single. You do not have the Goto tuners. No binding on the peg head, no binding on the fretboard. Basically, you've got model one tone, for a much cheaper price. It's got all, it's got everything else that you need, but like I said, this is kind of the stripped down version of the guitar. Next, this is the Lindsey Buckingham. Okay, this is kind of the model on which all other models are based on. Okay, you've got all mahogany body, just like the other one. Now this one is stained in a burgundy red and a lot of the Lindsay's that you see out there are this color because Rick made this one for Lindsay, I think it was in the early 90s or mid 90s. He really liked the color. So from now on when Lindsay orders Model 1s, he usually gets this color. He's got about nine of them right now. Okay, so what's different about this one from the previous? Again, mahogany body. This one's got the stain. It's also got binding on the front and the back, okay? 
laminated purple heart and maple neck. You've got Goto tuners, ebony backstrap overlay. You've got a uh, mahogany head facing. You've got black binding. The fretboard is bound. Electronics configuration. You've got volume, tone with a coil tap, Rick Turner hum canceling pickup, and you've got the parametric EQ. Okay, the bottom switch is the boost cut function, and the one just above it, that's the EQ itself. So you can set the, the, the EQ where you want it, that you can boost or um, reduce this, the signal here. So, when somebody calls up and says, I want a Lindsey Buckingham guitar, this is usually what we send them. This is a special one. This is the Rick Turner Model 1 40th Anniversary Edition. Okay, so this one is based on the original 1979 design. But this is built with a Honduras mahogany body, the laminated neck with purple heart and maple, a Brazilian rosewood fingerboard, and the big deal is that Lindsay's signature is on here. Lindsay very kindly agreed to sign them. Yes. It's signed by Lindsey Buckingham. These were just released this year at NAMM 2019. Okay, what's different about it? Um, it's based on the original 1979. Ebony backstrap overlay with Rick's signature here, right there, and we've got the shallower tuners. Ebony head facing with black ebony binding. You've got ebony binding on the fretboard. Okay, the body, what's different? This is Honduran mahogany. A lot of the Rick Turners, he uses different forms of mahogany, um, but this specifically to match the original 1979 Lindsey Buckingham, it had to be Honduran mahogany, so that's what this is. We've got full binding front and back. Again, this is an ode to the 1979 original 40th anniversary Rick Turner at Lindsey Buckingham. This, there are only 18 being built. We have ordered six of them, and this is the very first one in the United States. So, Lindsey Buckingham, 40th anniversary. Pretty cool. Next, one of my favorites. This is the Rick Turner Featherweight guitar. Okay, Featherweight. It's about a pound and a half lighter. Rather than mahogany body, you've got a cedar core here. So this is a cedar body. What does that mean? It, uh, like I said, it runs about a pound and a half lighter than a regular mahogany Model 1, but it also tends to give the guitar more of an acoustic flavor. So if you're a finger style guy, perhaps you do more acoustic than electric, this is the guitar for you. This one's upgraded. This one's actually a limited edition. It's got some other bells and whistles, but it's based on the featherweight. Um, now, most featherweights have the piezo option. You can get this option on any Model 1. Okay, this is the blend control right here. If you push it all the way forward, you're engaging the humbucker. All the way backwards, you're engaging the saddle piezo pickup. So you can get this or this and everything in between just by turning the, the dial here. Okay, so again, featherweight, everything else is the same. Body, you've got a cedar core instead of mahogany. Cedar, very cool. <laughs> Okay, now, I told you guys I had a special treat for you that I was saving to the end, and here it is. We have the original 1979 Rick Turner Model 1, built for Lindsey Buckingham that was toured with and recorded with for almost 30 years by Lindsey and Fleetwood Mac. And yes, it is for sale.
This is it, guys. 1979, this is serial number 003. When Rick built the prototypes for this guitar, he built three. He built one for Lindsay, one for himself, and one for his brother-in-law. Um, number 001 and 002, which was Rick's and his brother-in-law's, those have been MIA, MIA for years. This is the only one in existence. And this is the original one that Lindsay used and recorded with, as I stated. So. What do we got? What's different? You can see, actually, they look a lot alike, don't they? Okay, what's different? See the tailpiece on the original one? That's, that's called the trapeze tailpiece. Rick changed that over the years. And um, this is, since this is the 40th anniversary, you can see it also has the trapeze tailpiece. But if you look at a modern day Model 1, you'll see that the uh, tailpiece is different. Um, also, the truss rod on the original is actually, you have to remove the pickup. It's underneath there. It's not up here where a normal truss rod is. Guys, this is it. This is, I can't believe I'm actually holding this thing. It's so cool. And the really great thing about this guitar is it's still playable. It plays amazingly. Okay, so since this guitar has been around for 40 years, as you can imagine, it's got a lot of blood, sweat, and tears on it. Lindsay's DNA all over this thing. Anyway, um, if you look closely here, you'll see where the jack plate used to be and where the volume knob used to be. They removed those, plugged them up, and then later put the jack plate here. Then they removed it again and they put it here. Also, you've got the original trapeze tailpiece. Now this button right here, which looks like a strap button, that was actually installed by Ray Lindsay, Lindsay Buckingham's guitar tech. He wanted to create more tension and angle on the high E and the B string here. And um, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but there's all kinds of dents and bruises and all kinds of stuff here. The headstock was actually broken three times um, during touring. And Rick has repaired this thing to almost perfection. I mean, you can hardly feel anything when you run your finger over it, and it's really stable. He did an amazing job on this thing. You can see here it's got the, uh, the serial number built in 1979. Also, you notice the headstock is different with the turner down the front. But this is it, guys. This is the original. 1979, one of a kind, iconic guitar. This thing will probably wind up in a museum one day, but um, this is it. Guys, I wanna thank you for watching. Uh, I hope that this video explained everything that you need to know about the Model 1. Um, I, I don't know if I touched on pricing, so just real briefly, I think I said this one's around 3,500 to 4,000. The standard Lindsay's right around six, okay? The uh, 40th anniversary, this one is 8,500. The um, Featherweight, that one, you can option it uh, many different ways, and it goes basically from about 5,500 to 7,500, depending on how you option it. And um, for the uh, Lindsey Buckingham, just call us if you're interested on that, and uh, we haven't posted the price, but uh, it's up there, <laughs> let's just say. Anyway, uh, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, if you have any questions about Rick Turner Model 1s, do call us at Heartbreaker Guitars. So it's Brendan signing off from the Heartbreaker Lounge. Guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.